What's up guys? I've been doing a lot of work on my shop slash pole barn lately and uh, on the last couple videos I've been getting some comments about my pole barn so I thought it'd be kind of interesting just to show off all my progress that I'm making on the barn. Uh, I've just been recording little snippets of all the progress I'm making and uh, it's getting there. It's looking pretty good now. When I started man this thing was rough. Uh, the previous owners were running like a backyard mechanic shop out of it and the floor was just covered in oil You couldn't even see the cement. There was tools and parts and stuff just everywhere I have videos of it, but out of respect for the previous owners. I'm not going to share any of that But you can see from the first video of kind of where it started at with uh, like we gutted the barn but then we immediately had to throw all of our moving stuff in there. We had moving boxes, stuff that needed to come in the house, stuff that we needed to get rid of. Uh, but we're finally getting everything sorted out, so I have a good working shop now at least. It's not completely done, but it's definitely getting there. I, I like where it's going. Um, in the process of redoing the barn, I found something very interesting. <laughs> it was uh, a shock, honestly. Uh, so check it out. All right, here's what the barn looks like. I'm just throwing two by fours on it to get it cleaned up. I think I'm gonna take this paint booth wall out because it's not very well made. But I mean, you can see it just looks dirty. And now everything's in the middle of the floor because I've pulled it away from the walls. So I got big mess but hoping to make this look a lot bigger. Here's the other side inside the paint booth. Still got a ton of moving boxes, but the other side looks a little better. All right, we got a lot of the barn framed. Got the whole wall out for the paint booth. Looks a lot bigger. Got a lot of garbage everywhere though. Hopefully get the rest of it framed, get the metal on. It's a lot of work. Okay, so at this point I had decided I was gonna take the paint booth wall out. Uh, I really like the idea of having a paint booth, but honestly the amount I would use it is not all that often and it wasn't really well done. And the wall had like two mismatched doors and the studs in the wall were all different sizes. It went like 2x4, 2x6, 2x4, so the wall went in and out, and it was never going to be straight or right. So I decided the best thing to do was just take it out. So I did that, and then there's some drywall in the paint booth as well. I ended up having to take that out because I wanted the sheet metal to all be on the same level. Uh, when I took the back wall out, the drywall, I found a window that I didn't know I had, which was really cool. Honestly, I could have walked around the barn and found that I had another window there, but there's some brush and stuff behind it, and I'd never really been back there, but that was a cool find. But in the front of the barn, next to the door, there was a fairly large sheet of drywall with like a cutout door in it, but the door was like screwed shut with black tape around it. I thought they were covering like another fuse box or something like that. So it didn't get paint on it or whatnot and instead of opening that door i just decided to take the whole sheet of drywall off well when i unscrewed the drywall a little bit and pulled it from the wall i heard glass breaking and i'm like what the heck is that and then i pulled some more screws out i took the sheet of drywall off i look and there's three broken crack pipes down at the bottom of this wall on the cement and there was three mice cuddled up on the crack pipes. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Like the crack pipes had like a bulb on it that was all burnt and uh, those were broken off. And there was like cotton shoved in one of the ends as like a makeshift filter. It was run through like a coolant tube. It was super weird. And uh, the mice ran off and uh, I found the hole where the mice are coming in. We have plugged that since and uh, haven't had any mice issues in there. But just, it's so weird of a thing to find. Uh, we called the non-emergency number and just said, hey, we found this. 
what do we do? They said just throw it away. So that's all that ever came of that. Uh, but yeah, it was super strange. And I promise I did not buy some sort of a trap house, drug house. This is a really nice house. It's just super strange. I don't know. Uh, when we bought the house, we gutted it and everything. So I'm fairly confident that we're not going to find any more surprises. <laughs> but yeah, it was just uh, super weird. Get the like broken bowl. I'm not touching it. But... Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> so this corner here is where I found the crack pipes or meth pipes, whatever they were. They were in a little door right here. And when I took this drywall out, the pipes fell. I heard glass breaking. And then I looked down here and there was three crack pipes with three little baby mice on top of them. <laughs> all right, another pole barn update. I got all the boards in, prepared to put the metal on. I got the barn cleaned up quite a bit. There was a lot of stuff just spread all out. I foamed in the big cracks, taped some of the smaller ones. The tape's not sticking amazingly, but yeah, I tore this wall down and man, it made the barn just a ton bigger. Yeah, it's gonna look a lot better with the metal on. All right, the barn's coming along, starting to get metal on the walls. It looks so much better. We had to move the electrical panel out. We kind of ran out of J channel about there. So still got to finish that wall and this front wall here and just a little piece over here. I'm really excited though. We put in a plug for my welder. So the welder's up here now. Gonna have another plug for the CNC plasma table once we get that, but it's coming along. Still a lot more work to do, but looks so good. My brother-in-law, a different brother-in-law than the one I bought the side-by-side -side from, gave me this uh, industrial racking. So that's gonna be really handy to store things on and real excited. I wanted to give you guys an update of my shop or barn, I guess it is. Uh, it looks a lot better, not perfect of course. Uh, there's still a lot of stuff like on the racks and that uh, whole bench there I wanna get rid of, but it's coming along really well. Uh, once it gets a little warmer here, I'm gonna transfer some of this stuff to my other barn and uh, clean up, get rid of that bench when my CNC plasma table gets here and just make it a lot better. But I've done so much in here, wiring. Uh, I put all new metal on all the walls. I'm gonna be doing the ceiling soon. That's why there's a pile of metal back by the jet ski there. Uh, it's looking so much better. It was pretty rough. The door is still really dirty. I might get a new door. That thing, you can see right through it. That's why it's always cold in here. Uh, I got a larger air compressor. My uncle gave it to me for free. There's some parts missing on it though, so I don't know if I'm actually gonna use it, but the plan is to have a big air compressor with, uh, I wired in some 220 power for the welders and the air compressor, but I need another 220 outlet for the CNC plasma table, the plasma cutter in that. So I'm gonna be doing that soon. Uh, yeah, I got all my toys in here, which is great. Uh, I'll kind of do a walk around and yeah, just show you what it looks like now. It's a little bit cluttered, but it looks so much better. Uh, we're going to be working on the smart car in just a few minutes here. My wife backed the navigator into it and put her trailer hitch right through the radiator there. So we're going to be putting a new radiator in that thing. <laughs> 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 
And then after that, I'm gonna start taking apart the wrecked YXZ and get ready to put the new cage on it. I got a new uh, full frame gusset kit coming from Ray's Car Designs. I've got the Weller rear brace already here. So that project is kicking off in just a couple hours here. But yeah, it's, it's coming along. It's still got a lot of junk in here, but I'm super happy with it. <clears throat> this bench is gonna be going once I get the CNC plasma cutter. Uh, I did bring my welding bench up from my parents' house. It's got a half inch steel tabletop. You can do a lot of jigging, fixturing, welding on this thing. Uh, other than that, just a lot better area to work. I know it probably doesn't look like a ton, but man, this place was rough before I got it. <laughs> There's quite a bit more to do in here. I'm gonna wait until the temperatures get a little warmer, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's so much nicer working in here with it nice, open, and fairly clean, minus all the junk on the racks. Uh, I still got all my supplies here. I'm planning on doing the ceiling fairly soon, but I mean, it's looking a lot better and this is the reason that my videos have been you know every other week instead of every week also because the temperatures are so cold but it's warming up it's about 40 outside the snow's kind of melting so uh, a lot more riding's coming soon working on the yxz today and uh yeah just wanted to give you guys an update Show you how it's looking. I'm not as embarrassed about it as I was. <laughs> it's still a little rough, but getting there. All right, that's what the shop looks like at this point. There's gonna be a lot more done to it and I'm not done by any means, but it's definitely come a long ways and I figured I'd show you guys since, you know, it's kind of in every video and uh, just wanted you to see some of the progress and show you that I'm putting a lot of effort towards all this stuff, so. Uh, yeah, and uh, I thought the crack pipe story was pretty interesting as well. <laughs> he, it's not every day you find that in the wall, or maybe you do. I don't know your life. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, maybe consider subscribing. If you just happen to stumble upon this video, uh, it's a weird one to stumble upon. But uh, check out some of our other videos. We have a lot of off-road content, side-by-side -side stuff modification videos, riding videos, uh, we have quads, snowmobiles, uh, side-by-sides, uh, we do a lot of off-roading and we're pretty much just recording anything that we're doing on the weekend, even working on barns apparently, but uh, thanks for watching, have a great day.